Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel Decreations Resources. We are solving multiple choice questions from physics and maths. Today we are going to tackle a question which involves concepts such as arithmetic mean, geometric mean. And the question is from CSI net exam of the year 2021. The question is the arithmetic and geometric means of two numbers are 65 and 25 respectively what are these two numbers and the options are option a 110 20 option b 115 15 option c 120 10 and option d 125 5 so those who know how to solve this question can pause this video solve it mark the correct option and then see the correct answer those who don't know how to solve it you can just proceed further as it is so here always when you are given a question you should first write down what is the given information and what is required so here what is the given information arithmetic mean is 65 and geometric mean is 25 and what is required we want to find out what are these two numbers right so what is going to be the logical way to solve this question? You should remember how we calculate arithmetic mean as well as geometric mean. So there is some formula. So if you know these formulae, then it's going to be easy because you then just have to do some algebra, rearrange terms and you get the answer. So since we don't know these two numbers, what we can do is we can assume them and we can say that they can be X and Y, for example. Now we all know that arithmetic mean is basically addition of those two numbers divided by 2 when you say arithmetic mean of two numbers. So if x and y are the numbers it will be x plus y divided by 2 and it is given to be 65. So if that is 65 that means x plus y is 130. So you've got one equation here. Then what is the next information that you have? Geometric mean. How do you calculate geometric mean of two numbers x and y? It's under root xy. So now we know that under root xy is 25. That means if you square both the sides, xy is 625. So we have got the information that x plus y is 130 and x into y is 625. So you can see sum and product and that will remind you of the identity x minus y whole square is x square minus 2x plus y square and you can rewrite it as x square plus 2xy plus y square minus 4xy. Now x square plus 2xy plus y square is basically the square of the sum of two numbers that is x plus y whole square minus 4xy. Now we have purposely written it in this manner because we already have the information about what x plus y is and x y is. So x minus y whole square can be written as x plus y which is 130 square minus 4 into x y which is 625. So x minus y whole square is equal to 130 whole square minus 4 into 625. Now, if you remember squares, I would suggest that it's always good to remember squares at least up to 25. So, 13 square is 169. So, 130 whole square is going to be 16900 16, minus 4 into 625. Now, 625 2 is 1250, 1250 2 is 2500. So, basically 16900 minus 2500 that gives you 14400 now i just now said that it's good if you know the squares because if you see this number 144 it's a square of 12 so immediately you will be able to understand that if x plus y whole square is 14400 then x my, sorry x minus y whole square is 14400 then x minus y is equal to square root of this which is 120. So now you have two equations. Equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 130. Equation 2 is x minus y is equal to 120. Now it's these are I would say one of the simplest pair of equations to solve. So x plus y is 130, x minus y is 120. 
if you add equation 1 and 2 y and minus y will cancel out so you will get 2x is equal to 250 or in other words x is equal to 125 and once you know x again going back to equation 1 x if x is 125 that means y has to be 5 so now when you revisit the question and the options you can see that the option 125 and 5 is basically the option d so the correct answer here is option d 125 5 so you can see that it was such a simple question and it involved algebra which you've been doing since your school days so uh, if you get such questions you should solve it quickly and save your time okay all right thanks